Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my short, short stories from uh, my new book, Soloists, about 200 short, short stories of introverts and outsiders facing a dilemma. This story is called A Peacenik Who Shoots Tires. I got a bad draft number, 37, so I had to go to the Army. I was scared they'd send me to Vietnam, but my test showed I was intelligent and a good communicator. And in the questionnaire, I mentioned that as a kid, I had loved shooting my BB gun and playing a shooter game, you know, a video game, Half-Life. So the Army decided to train me to become a marksman. And when I did well at that, they made me an instructor, right there at Fort Bragg, not Hanoi. One day I got a call from my dad who said that our neighbor, a nice kid named Dylan, got killed in Nam. Looking back, I think that's what made me a peacenik. I used the GI Bill to get a bachelor's in political science and then a PhD in peace studies. I wasn't able to get a real professorship. I'm a so-called gypsy professor. I teach one course each term at each of three colleges. Fortunately, they're all pretty near each other, although in Manhattan, it can take you 20 minutes to go two miles. I still prefer to drive because the colleges do give me a parking spot, usually just a block or two from the building where I teach. The buses are no faster and are noisy, and the subway is noisier still and more dangerous. I feel guilty that I carry a pistol with me, but with all the carjackings, and even in the block or two I have to walk from my car to class, you hear about armed robberies and other assaults on campus, so I keep the small pistol in my pocket for peace of mind. For a few years, I didn't think that the rude drivers bothered me much, but in looking back, I think it slowly was affecting me. Then one day, a guy in a Dodge Challenger with a roaring exhaust and thumping music woke me from my musing about what I wanted to convey in my class that day and I motioned the guy to lower the music. He gave me the finger, whereupon I opened my window, pulled out my pistol, and shot his tire flat. I raced into the parking lot. I guess he couldn't follow me with the flat tire. I sighed relief, but felt terrible for being a hypocrite. I'm going to talk about peace in my class, and I shoot a guy's tire? But it also felt good, rare justice for such people. I didn't do it again for a year, But then a guy in a loud Chevy Camaro tailgated me and honked for me to move over. I already was driving over the speed limit and was about to move over when he zoomed in front of me and cut me off. I shot his tire. By the end of that year, I had shot four more miscreants' tires. Then for the first time, I paid a price. Yeah, I got his tire, but he opened his window and shot two of my tires. He then started shooting into my window at me. I ducked, but managed to see him pull out his cell phone. Two minutes later, three scary-looking guys in a Mustang pulled up, jumped out, surrounded my car, made me get out. The first guy shot me in the leg. They strutted back to the Mustang and drove off. I threw my gun into the Hudson River. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.